Good evening, friends. We are joined by Sonam Wangchu, the environmentalist who has been sitting on a fast for last 13 days. Uh, he has been trying to raise his voice concerning environment. So we'll ask him, Olisa, what are your main demands as far as why are you sitting on the fast? Because now even the elections have been announced. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for having me. We are sitting on this 21 days fast, and actually, with me are some 250 people sitting out in the open in minus 15 degrees, sleeping in the open. And during the day, nearly 2,000 to 5,000 people gather here. So the reason is that uh, we are trying to remind the government, the current outgoing government, of their promises that they made to the people of Ladakh in various meetings of the government and two elections, the 2019 mm. parliamentary elections and the 2020 uh, Hill Council elections, which are very prestigious, that they will give safeguards to Ladakh under the sixth schedule of the constitution. So this um, promise was made and they won both the elections with heavy majority. Governments were formed here in Ladakh. And after that, they have dilly dallied and finally on March 4th, they clearly refused to do it. Mm. So we, want, we don't want to set the wrong precedences in the country that Promises can be made in elections and there's nothing you can do uh, to keep them. So that's one of the reasons. The other is about democracy. Ladakh has no democratic uh, fora here, no mm. assembly, no elected leaders to make decisions. Whereas Jammu and Kashmir has been promised the restoration of democracy. We are left under a bureaucratic rule controlled from New Delhi. So that's the other yeah. reason. And so the Prime Minister recently came to Jammu and Kashmir, especially when he came to Kashmir, he said that he is there to win hearts. Do you feel that, uh, you know, people of Ladakh feel that they have been let down by the centre? Yes, regarding hearts, I would say in 2019, they had totally won the hearts of the people of Ladakh because we were hoping and demanding for UT status for the last 70 years, they fulfilled it. But then what happened next has kind of disillusioned us. In the four years, they dilly-dallied in different ways and now refuse. So there are questions people are asking whether the UT was given at all for Ladakh. Was it a part of some other plan some other plan to sell off these mountains to industrialists and mining lobbies, and we were just taken for a ride. I hope mm -hmm. it is not true, but this is what every Ladakh is now talking about, whether this UT was ever for us, meant for us. So, yeah. Absolutely. You see, it's already an election code of conduct is already in place. So actually what you're demanding from the political parties is some kind of reassurance that if they come back to power, they should listen to your demand. Is that what your demand is right now? Yes, till the M MCC was uh, applied, uh, came into force, we were hoping they would uh, keep their promises any day. But now mm -hmm. that they have uh, left us high and dry, we are sitting here for the whole 21 days and we may extend by another 21 days. Um, hoping that they still can. The way they can is we are saying that there should be still a possibility of a multi-party agreement, a legally mm -hmm. binding multi-party agreement with leaders of Ladakh that whichever uh, alliance comes into power, they'll uh, fulfill these demands of the people of Ladakh, uh, mm -hmm. which are the ones that I said. So that's uh, one reason. Secondly, you know, we now feel they don't care about Ladakh. They care about the elections and the number of seats. So we want to sit on this and loudly send messages to the country that uh, this party has not kept their promises here. Likely that they'll do the same in your state also. And... Uh, mm. Yeah, so this is to educate the rest of the nation also, but we hope that they'll 
um, not let us do that. It will be very unfortunate if we sit here only to damage that party. We don't mm -hmm. want to. Therefore, we mm -hmm. still hope that they'll uh, come to a truce by giving us a written legally bounding, binding assurance, which will be a, a fair enough respectable solution. And when they come into power, we'll expect them to keep it. The people are joining you from all over the country, you know, from South, from North India also, even political parties are taking the note that you are sitting on a fast for last 13 days. Now, what would what is the message that you would like to send out to the entire country? You know, because as far as Ladakh is concerned, it is very strategically also very important. Yes. So first of all, I'm very grateful. Whole of Ladakh is very grateful to all the people who gathered in different capitals, uh, some 20 cities last Sunday and expressed their support to Ladakh's issues. And they sat on a one day anshan also fasted mm -hmm. for a day. Uh, which is amazing. The message is that, yeah, this issue is not just of Ladakh, it's for of the whole nation, because mm. Ladakh is a very strategically sensitive area with Pakistan on the west and China on the east, and already China is pressing in. There are reports from think tanks in the U.S. that uh, there could be any time a flash shout on the borders, a war, and in such times, people of Ladakh are very, very important to support the army. And there are thousands of soldiers from Ladakh in the Ladakh scouts who are the best fighters in the mountains. Now, if this is the, uh, you know, the treatment we are meted out, people of Ladakh, you must have seen for 13 days, 2,000 people each day has been gathering. On 3rd February, whole one third of the lay district gathered. So that's the mm. fervor about these uh, demands. Now, if they mm. are left like this, then their uh, morale will be hit and that will affect how they, you know, support in the case of such a uh, emergency because people of Ladakh actually voluntarily, without a penny, go to the war battlefields and mm. support the soldiers, you know, transporting ammunition, food they take from their homes rather than expecting mm. anything from them. So all such support give, is a great boost of morale for our soldiers. I hope not, but if that gets affected, it will not be good for national security. And people around the nation should take it as an issue of the nation because we cannot let a government and some ministers taken, be taken uh, you know, for a ride by their egos and put the national security at stake. This is, I think the nation uh, will not allow this. Thank you so much, sir, for speaking to NDTV. Uh, Ladakh falls on uh, during the fifth phase, that is on May 20, 20th. Hope, we hope that, you know, the issues that you have raised and the you know, very crucial points that you have raised, each point is be, is addressed not only by the center, but also the political parties uh, on whom you have a lot of faith in. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.